Welcome, my beautiful souls. Uh, today we are going to do Sagittarius. Um, I'm doing this so you can have Sagittarius, so you can have this by your birthday. Uh, so this is like your birthday reading for December. Um, this is going to be also, though, for Sagittarius sun, moon, rising. If you're intuitively guided, thank you for paying attention to your intuition. Um, if you're here because you are in love with the Sagittarius, platonically, romantically, just remember your spirit guides who I read through, my spirit guides who connect to your spirit guides, they know you're here. And um, I just feel like our guides will do whatever they need to do to get a sign to us. So sometimes a whole reading is your sign. Um, all right, so you are opening up the december reading so let's go ahead and begin so we i brought out the romance angels that's in case love comes into the picture we are going to use the gilded or not the gilded hero um the major arcanas i don't know the name of the deck um i, I don't even know if i broke them up into major arcanas um but this is really how i like to use them they're like bullet points to your reading so we'll use those. We will begin with Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom. We will use the Gilded Tarot to clarify, um, but really to go deeper. And for the main spread, we are going to use the Tarot of Dreams. Okay, but let's go ahead and slide these aside. And let's begin with Mother Mary. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the lid down. Go. My fiery Sagittarius. All right. Let's begin. Mother Mary. Hmm. All right, we got a few, but um, I'm going to take them. We have caring. Caring. Heaven cares for me, and I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others, and the world you know don't forget that yourself is included in there matter of fact it's number one so caring we have inner child inner child i nurture the child within me through playfulness and self-care playfulness that's really what I, you know it's interesting because i feel like as we move into December, I feel like energies are lifting um, for the majority. Not everybody, but for the majority, I feel energies are lifting. I feel like our inner child um, wants to come out and play. Um, I'm just picking this up intuitively, but even through my personal readings, I've been feeling that energy of playfulness. So Mother Mary brings out your inner child. All right, open your heart. Open your heart, Sagittarius. I allow myself to feel the full range of emotions, especially all forms of love. We have trust. I know that God in his infinite wisdom and love is answering my prayers right now. That may be why you're being asked to make sure that your heart is open. That, you know, I feel like playfulness means I'm not putting a lot of worry on what was. I'm living more in the present moment. You know what I mean? Like I'm finding joy in the little things. Um, but I feel like all of this is getting you ready. Like it's getting you ready for something. Mm, Jesus. I pray for Jesus' help and guidance with this situation. So prayers, but I feel like prayers being answered. And I really feel like 
it's giving you an idea of, you know, the potential of how you could feel, which feels very good, right? I'm in a loving, playful state. I'm trusting in divine timing. I'm knowing that whatever prayers, you know, that I'm praying, that they are being heard, not just heard, but answered. You know, the thing about answered prayers is they can be answered differently than what we prayed for. Um, but let's say we prayed for love, you know. Um, what was I going to say? Then I feel like we need to be open to like who comes in because it could be someone like completely unexpected or not your usual type. You know what I mean? But it may just be the perfect person for you. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and bring in the major arcanas. And not a lot there. Everything is always pre-shuffled, by the way. That's really where I'm just meditating on your side. Picking up. Um, messages. Mm. All right. We have the magician. And it's like they came out in pairs. We have the magician and the star. Wow. You want to talk about the power to manifest. You know, the star is about your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, and truly about manifesting them. The magician. It tells you that you really possess everything you need to manifest the type of life you want. You know, maybe just sometimes I need to step out of the way, though, and accept what comes in. Because maybe it's better than what I think. I don't know why I keep picking that up for you. The magician and the star. And it actually came out this way. So the magician is actually looking right at the star. like your higher self saying what do you need what can I give you how can I help you to manifest um you know I don't read this these cards as people I read them as energy though I know some people like really get upset if I don't at least mention the sign so star would be the um would be Aquarius's major arcana Okay, and then we have the Hierophant, Card of Taurus, that's about your belief, your morals, your faith, do you have faith, are you keeping faith alive, I don't know why, but every time I see him, I feel like he's blessing something, so let's see, well, he's blessing the fool, that's kind of beautiful. And by the way, um, you know, we're all the full. Anytime there's a new avenue opening up in our life, a new opportunity. And the full is someone who lives in the current moment, in the current energy. This is someone who is willing to take a leap of faith. Why? Because the past is the past. Like they extract the wisdom of the, of the past. But they're not carrying, like, the burdens or the worries. You know what I mean? They're living for today. And, you know, with us being the full, well, our first mentor along this journey, and this would be a new beginning, um, is the magician. And that's exactly what the full is teaching the magician. And I feel like this journey, you in particular, I feel like you're being blessed. You know what I mean? It feels like a blessing upon this journey. And, and then we have justice. Interesting. Wow. Uh, first of all, Cardio or Libra. Um, her sword is up. 
So we could certainly talk about, you know, cutting ties to the past, cutting ties to someone or a situation. But I feel like what that does is set you free. You're, you might have already done that. You know what I mean? With you showing up as the fool. It's like you may have used like the sword of justice. Mm-hmm. And justice is really about finding balance within your life. You know, it's what's fair and just in your world. Um, justice's job is, is to make you whole again. But that might mean that I need to use that sword. Because I feel like when the sword is up, that means that you may feel unbalanced or something had you feeling unbalanced. You know, you're either already in the fool's energy or I feel like you're going to have the opportunity to be in the fool's energy. So something new, a new beginning, something that is going to, you know, ask you to take a leap of faith. But I feel like not only do I feel you're being blessed, I feel like so is the journey. And the foal is heading right to the star. I hope my dreams and my wishes. It's almost like the foal is walking through one's faith to get to maybe the ultimate destination. Even if it's just the beginning of, you know, sometimes situations or you know periods in our life it's more about the journey than where we ended up you know what i mean it's like what did we long you know what did we learn along the way who have we met um all of that okay let's go ahead and bring in the tarot of dreams You know, Mother Mary is already telling you that um, as these wishes and dreams and blessings come true or come to be, that you may be required to really, you know, experience it all, let's say, to really make sure that your heart is open, to make sure that you are, well, trusting. Trusting in your faith. But it does feel like your heart needs to be open. It's almost like that's one of the stipulations. It doesn't have to mean love. Right? It just means I'm just more loving. Okay. We have the High Priestess. This is your intuition. Um, And by the way, the second mentor along the Fool's journey. So I feel, you know, how nice that they both came out. Um, And, you know, the High Priestess, it's your higher self. And... It's your GPS in this lifetime. It really is. Like the more that you trust and listen to your intuition, I feel like the better your life becomes. You know, it's when we resist it. And no judgment over that. It just is what it is. You know what I mean? But how nice that... You know, that both that the magician and the high priestess came out for the bowl for you. We have the six of wands that is being victorious at something. You know, it's like the spotlight is on you in the Six of Wands. The Magician right above that. Some of you, it feels like, you know, like you're on the stage and... I don't know, I feel like... I often feel in the Six of Wands, other people um, listening to you. 
because of like action steps that you've taken that brought you to this energy? Like, how'd you get there? Well, let me tell you. And then interesting, we have the five of swords. So two fives connected. Five of swords talks about somewhere there's some toxicity. Now, Hopefully this is talking about the past. Though I do want to also say, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but I feel like for some of you, it could be your own thought system. Like, you know, can my dreams really come true? If you put the energy behind them. And again, they may look different, but probably better. You know, sometimes I feel like the ones who end up with these platforms, it's not that they even meant to. It's like this, like my channel. It's just something that just, it really came to me. Um, but anyway, anyway. I feel like this toxicity, because there feels like there's a blessing coming from the Hierophant, I feel like that is go. It's almost like I'm pulling, pouring holy water on it. Interesting, like tsh, pour, pulling or pouring holy water, sprinkling it. It might be those very situations, difficult situations that you've been through, that then becomes your platform. Like, how'd you get through it? And seriously, I feel like, well, let me tell you. Wow. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles coming under the full. That's the house of abundance. You know what I mean? That is the house where, let's just say, if this is it has anything to do with your money, and, you know, what you do for a living or, or it can even be something like on the side, you know, maybe I work a nine to five, but then if something else I feel like that might pique your interest and it does feel of a spiritual nature, um, though the spiritual part of it, I feel is more to help you on this physical plane, like to help you help yourself. Um, because I feel like the Ten of Pentacles is energy that is definitely possible. And I often don't feel like you're alone in that energy. For some of you, though, this is great energy of, you know, maybe your platform is like mine, you know, from home. But it feels very fruitful. All right. <laughs> Look at this. And then the Magician again. Right next to the Ten of Pentacles. Magician now mirroring the High Priestess. It is literally like you're using your gifts. Or you're understanding them. And then you're putting them to use. And you're starting to see, like, maybe when I walk this way, you know, in a spiritual way, I believe in myself. I'm willing to take a leap of faith, right? I head towards my dreams. Um, I cut ties to whatever and whoever is holding me back. And maybe I put the focus on me now. And I feel like, well, first of all, abundance. But not just abundance, because I feel like this is something that you would... First of all, I feel qualified, but I don't mean qualified by, like, I went and got a degree. I'm not going to rule that out. But I feel this is more like through life's experiences. That's what qualifies me. You know what I mean? All right, well, let's keep going. I'm even noticing how under justice, you know, the magician is a one. And justice is an eleven. So it's like one of those ones, look, oh, sorry about that. One of those ones being cut away and bringing it down to a one. So this could be a singular journey. Um, that's okay. 
doesn't mean that's how it'll, you know, that's how it'll finish. Because again, in the Ten of Pentacles, um, you can certainly be like the breadwinner. You know what I mean? Or it may talk about someone else who'll be in there with you. So we'll see. But right now, let's just call you the breadwinner. Um, hmm. Palace of Cups. The Palace of Cups. You know, I can feel the palace is energy that, you know, is part of our dream system. It's like the ultimate, you know, it's the ultimate energy. It's interesting because when I get, when I buy tarot decks, I don't read the books. I, I just like my intuition to work it out. Um, but that's just what I feel with it. You know, some of you, maybe you're just doing fine within your money or that's the journey you're heading on. And then the palace of cups. Well, you know, it, it can just be, it can just be love, love of life, love of, you know, and it may be something that feels completely different because, it, you know, what's right in the middle is this toxic energy, but it is a five. So it's asking for change. I feel like the change, I feel like for the majority, you've made this change. Which means you're heading towards the Ten of Pentacles. Holy crap. All right, I'm going to take them. Um, and I'm going to take them the way they came out. So we're going to start with, with what's face up. And how interesting that the lovers comes out to, next to the Palace of Cups. Lovers. Um, Carter Gemini. The meaning of card is a head over heart decision. I feel like it is definitely chemistry. Interesting, we have these two sixes connected. Victory, and then the lovers. With the magician above that. And we do have two magicians. Could be two people. You know, manifesting, let's say, the Palace of Cups. And again, it may just be like, you know, don't, I don't know, like, again, do I have to, is there anything I need to do other than have my heart open? I, I kind of don't feel like it. Let's keep going. Look at this. And we have the full again. So the full coming under that five of swords, that's good news. That means that's the past. And you're beginning anew. And then look at this, another ace. Why am I saying another ace? This is the first ace, but I feel like we have, I feel like there's aces everywhere. This feels like a very abundant type of reading. Ace of pentacle or wands, you know, is passion ignited. Um, guided steps, guided steps. That does mean that you will need to take that step. But it's like your intuition feels like it's going to be on fire. This Ace of Wands is mirroring the full. So do I take a leap of faith? Well, with the Ace of Wands there, I feel like I can't help but take that leap. You know, something is like stirring passion within me. Interesting that the Ace of Wands has the full on one side of it. So connected in this direction, but also mirroring um the ace of wands in this direction hmm we have the emperor emperor card of varies um can be like a father figure i often feel it as like business ownership 
like I am the boss. I feel like um, normally the emperor is someone we would look up to, you know, like the leader of the people. Some of you, I definitely feel it's you. And I feel like it's you in this Six of Wands energy. You know, and it, listen, I feel like it's just, it's natural. Like, when we live a spiritual life, we understand, like, okay, the past was teaching us. And when we look at it through a spiritual lens, I feel like we understand it on a different level. And maybe that's what some of you are doing is helping um, others. And sometimes it just comes natural. Like, I learn it, and then I can't help but be, the, you know, maybe be the light for someone else. The emperor. Some of you, if this is talking about love, because this is mirroring the palace of cups, um, it could definitely talk about the type of person, right? That if I'm going to manifest someone, you know, if if I'm going to, let's say, have love in my life, then I want it to be someone that, you know, I feel the emperor is someone who... Um, is doing well in life, you know, again, helping to lead people in some way, um, you know, because that can mean anything, really. But it is because, again, it, you know, it doesn't have to be just because of my experiences. This person may have a degree or maybe two. Um, but again, maybe it's just what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? Like, I, this is the type of person I want. All right, well, what else do we have? All right, let's turn these around. We have Palace of Pentacles. Look at that, two palaces back to back. It's like, yeah, I want love, but I want money too, right? Not in a selfish way, just in a, I want to be able to take care of myself and maybe others. Um, I want to do well. And I feel like this is giving you every, every opportunity. You know, there could be like opportunities that just find you. Um, it just feels like a lucky time for you. Look at this. Hello, soulmates. Right under the lovers. Interesting. We could really talk about the chemistry between these two. So there's a soulmate on your path. I kind of love that you have the Ten of Pentacles already before this even shows up. And then we have the Palace of Cups, which I feel would be the ultimate in just happiness and love you know what I mean and maybe again playfulness and then the palace of pentacles so I feel like for a lot of you it's like you made your own money you're making your own money um but then I feel like maybe it's like you combine that and it's like wow I don't know I feel like there's no way I can deny the way I feel we have Seven of Cups. Hmm, interesting. So, you know, you are trying to make a decision in this energy. It's interesting. Some of you may have been so focused on your pentacles and your creativity and what you do in the world that maybe you really haven't even given love a second thought. But doesn't mean it's going to stop it. It just might be the right time. You know, there's a lot we don't know. And I mean that like on a spiritual um, wave, like, you know, there's a lot we do know, but there's a lot we don't know. And I feel like that's really, I'm talking about destiny and like soulmates. And we know that you've been connected, you know, you're always going to be connected. There's no doubt about that. Um, but it's, you know, like how soulmates come into each other's lives 
And I feel like the right soulmates come in at the just the right time. Why am I, I don't know why I'm bringing all this up. Hmm, look at that. And the Nine of Pentacles again. Why am I saying again? We don't even have it out on the board yet. Interesting. I already felt it was here. So the Nine of Pentacles, first of all, is mirroring the Fool. Nine of Pentacles, the meaning of the card is successful self-employment. It's also mirroring the Ten of Pentacles. Hello. Again, excellent energy working from home. Doesn't have to just be from home. Don't get me wrong. But I do feel like there's just extra special energy, especially for some reason, I feel like some taking a microphone um, and that just might be symbolic. I just feel, I feel success. Um, and this may talk about the other person. You know, that they themselves, because I do feel that. Like, I, I feel like, first of all, I feel like I don't want anyone who can't take care of themselves like financially and I, and I don't feel you mean it like in a like I'm not willing to give it's just like I don't want I just feel like I don't want to have to teach someone how to love so I don't want to teach someone how to be responsible I just want you to be that I have a feeling some of that's coming from like past experience where you did feel like you had to teach. Um, and I, I just get this feeling like I'm no longer interested in that type of energy. Hmm. We have the two of swords. We have the star again. Interesting. We have the Five of Pentacles. And then we have the Hangman. And I'm taking him over there. You know, I feel like for some of you, and this may even speak about someone who's coming into your life, they could have had very similar type energy. I feel like if I'm the one who used that sort of justice to cut ties to whatever was toxic, um, I don't feel it was easy. You know, I don't feel it was like just like a simple decision. It may be something I had given a lot of thought to. Now, if that sword was used against me, so to speak, because if it was used against you, it may have felt against you, but truth be told, I feel like it's really free. It really freed you. Um, so I feel like, you know, change is hard no matter what. But if we try to stay optimistic, I feel like that's when things, we first of all, things start to move. And that's when we're better, we're be better able to understand, like, okay, there may have been a reason why I went through that. Some of you, I feel like you could have been connected in love to someone that just feels like, I don't know, like they weren't ready to love love, even if I said I was. And... In a way, you know, I feel like I feel like you're on a path to what feels like true love to me. So whatever I had to let go of and however it ended, even if it was difficult, I feel like what I'm saying is a day will come when you will be thankful. I don't even think you'll like think about it anymore. Because 
there's a lot that lies on this new path. Remember, if we started the full, look at everything we have. We have success. And then we have it actually showing through the Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, the Manifester, the Palace of Cups and Pentacles. Hello. Soulmates and the Lovers. Hello. The Nine of Pentacles, Independent Success. <laughs> You know, it's it's being able to stand on my own two feet no matter what. So the two of swords almost does not fit. Because in the two of swords energy, I could have a blindfold on. And I feel like what blindfold would I have on? The only one I can I can feel is it would be of an emotional nature. So, you know, again, I may have been concentrating on my career, my creativity, and really wasn't thinking about love. And some of you may say, you know, don't think I'm, I want love. But I don't feel like that's going to stop this. Because I feel like this is like meant to at least come through your life. You do have the right to say no, always. In a Seven of Cups, kind of trying to figure that out but it feels like of an emotional nature that tells me the blindfold is also of an emotional nature you know sometimes we had to kiss so many frogs that we think there are no princesses princes or princesses but there is I like that the full is right in the middle of your reading I'm just like, just like wiping, you know, the cobwebs off of me, shaking off the past and getting ready, whatever may be, whatever may be, will be. We have the moon on the bottom of the deck. The moon, part of Pisces, ruler of Cancer. I could certainly talk about a full moon with you because for some reason I felt like I was even going to look it up, like what your full moon, what the full moon was in December. I feel like it's Gemini. Um, but then I got distracted and I never looked it up. Um, so I felt there's something with the moon for you um, that could relate again back to Gemini if I'm right there. The moon can talk about it's a it's a card of Pisces ruler of Cancer, by the way. Um, it can talk about uncertainties, but maybe I'm only meant to like. Like, I can say to myself, like, I ultimately want to end up in the Ten of Pentacles. But I feel like, don't forget to enjoy, I feel like, each and every moment here. Because it feels like a beautiful, it does feel like a beautiful journey. It feels blessed. Almost feels like no one can touch you. That they themselves are not blessed. The moon can also be very dreamy type energy. I feel like, you know, it probably is speaking of, of uncertainties because I feel like that's what the two of swords is, is worried about. Like, how do I know something will be successful when in the past it had not been? Well, that's what the fool's doing, like planting those seeds. I'm creating my future as I go along. That's why no one can really predict where you'll end up because you have free will. And so do they. And each is planting their seeds. And as we plant those seeds, we're going to nurture them, right? Those could be our ideas, um, paths that open up to us, love that finds us. Right. I can either take that. I can plant those seeds um, 
give them the loving nurturing they deserve, keep my heart open, and really watch it grow. Or I can let it dry up and die. There's no way you could, you'll be able to deny what you feel, though. That I know, like, I feel it. There's no way you'll be able to deny the way you feel. And again, it, it's interesting that the Six of Wands is right above that, where it can be like, it, you know, it can, like, you may have a platform, and it may be someone who admires what you do. It could be like an admirer from afar, so to speak. Um, and that, of course, is not for everyone. But I feel like I had to say that, so it's definitely for someone. And I don't mean that in a, like, if someone's stalking me. I don't mean it that way. Not at all. All right, let's bring in a guild of Tarot. I feel like we just did a whole, like, I feel like your reading is, like, very in-depth. <laughs> Because I almost feel like we don't need to clarify. I get it. But we're going to do it anyway. Because really what we're going to do, because I don't really feel like we need to clarify, we're going to go a little bit deeper. What abundant reading you have here. And the only stipulation it took was using the sword of justice whatever that means for you because there was something toxic and this is about you beginning anew um and allowing yourself you know and just forget the past i know it's not that easy but i feel like you're being blessed and i feel like part of that blessing is so that you can like move forward without a lot of anguish or you know you just I'm, I'm ready and willing some of you already have goals in mind and you're on your way to your goal you know this love seems to happen after the fact like, because maybe it's important that you reach your goal first, you know, that you allow your dreams to come true. You know, it's not all about just love. It's also, what do you want to do? What do you have to offer the world? What is it you want to offer the world? Follow your intuition. I feel like saying, follow the yellow brick road. All right. We have the page of wands, who's very much like my foal. I call the page of wands my risk taker. This is someone who, um, probably from a very young age, like, takes chances. This is your inner child. And for some of you, it's like how you used to live. And maybe that's how you're living again. It's like you you were willing to take chances, even if it meant I may get my heart broken or this may not work out. You know what I mean? Or this might not be the right opportunity. I still took it to see and I've fallen down, but I've gotten back up again. I love the page of wands. And Mother Mary is calling for your inner child to come out. Well, that is your inner child. And we have, look at this, the Ace of Swords right over victory and success. It's like your truth, your voice, your integrity. You know, like, like I feel like whatever you're doing, you're doing it well. You're very, um, you're someone I can trust. You can talk about like some type of communication, um, but you're very good at it. 
or you will be very good at it. I don't really feel any energies where you don't tr where you're not trusting within yourself. Only one is way down here, but I feel like that has to do more like about love. So the Ace of Swords, touching the magician and coming over your success. Spotlight being on you. So some of you, you may be a great communicator. Um, some of you, there's a dream that you may have had since you were young. That you may, maybe it's just never been the right time. But now is the right time. We have four cups makes so much sense coming over the five of swords. <clears throat> four cups talks about discontentment and boredom in my life. But there's a cup coming in. There's a cup coming in. And, you know, maybe I'm dreaming about this cup. Maybe as I was going through some difficult times, like, you know, I daydreamed about really what real love felt like. And maybe this hasn't reached you yet. This does ask you to use your spiritual discernment. You know, it is mirroring the seven of cups where you really are trying to make a decision. So I feel like, you know, I'm not happy in that arena anyway. And it's interesting because I feel like for some of you, while you're in, let's just say, somewhat of a difficult situation, and it feels like a time where you felt kind of stuck, I do feel the energy of like daydreaming. Maybe you're daydreaming about love and what true love felt like. And I feel like you may not even know this, but I feel like you're manifesting that. Um, but it just might not be the right time. It doesn't feel like it was the right time then. You know, like, like first you needed to be in the fool's energy. Otherwise, I feel like this cup that's coming in wouldn't have the same effect, let's say. Look at this, the world. The next chapter. That doesn't mean a chapter's ending. But it's because a new chapter is beginning and it's coming over the full and the Ten of Pentacles. Hello. And again, it means that I can reach the Ten of Pentacles, but it's really about the journey. To me, the world means that you're ready. You're ready. The world is ready to accept you. Um, I feel like it's a very spiritual time in one's life. Not very, not very spiritual, but I feel like it's it's when I'm understanding that I'm not alone. That I do have, you know, great guides that help me. And I try and I'm learning to really trust in that. Uh, and I feel like that's something that stays with you forever. Like once I learn that, I learn that. And how do I love that it's also coming over the Ten of Pentacles? We have the Four of Pentacles over the Magician. We have Seven of Swords over the Palace of Cups. Well, that tells me that somewhere along the line, you dealt with someone who carried untrustworthy energy. Probably to say the least, but let's just say untrustworthy energy. I don't feel like you could look up to them. Um, I do feel like their energy and your energy became toxic together. I don't feel like you were happy. And whoever ended up using that sword, it really set you free. So even though I could have had feelings... I feel like it's definitely showing us that, you know, this is something that you had to deal with. But you did deal with it, or you are dealing with it. And I feel like, and then there's a blessing over this. This feels like a soul's lesson. Hmm. 
And then we have, well, look at this, the death card. So, closing of the door. Card of Scorpio, by the way. Coming over, card of Gemini. Um, but this really is about closing of the door. This is about transformation. This is about a rebirth. And it's coming over the lovers. Do I feel like it's this person? No. I feel like that's what you set yourself free from. I feel like the Emperor is someone new who's coming in. And I feel like now it's making me feel like a two swords is just you being a little worried. Like, you know, maybe they present themselves so well, but how do I know they won't turn out to be just like this? Well, your energy will let you know. That's why the High Priestess is here. Your energy will let you know. People will always reveal to you who they are. It does feel like one door does need to be closed. So this new door can open. And what follows that is the full, is the new door, is the transformation. You know, that's probably why I felt like this cup is coming in in the Four of Cups energy. I feel like it has to come at the right time because I don't feel like this is something that you really want to let go of. Like, I feel like this is something that could be very good. Very, very good. Um, but it also that means it needs to come at the right time. Doesn't mean you need to be healed and though we do have the full, so I do feel like you're feeling better and better and better. If nothing else, you know. And some of you already are it's like you're letting go of that past. But it's very clear to me, like that, you know, the past needed to be let go of because it wasn't serving you. So the death card really is the closing of that door, but closing it for good. You know, in the full following, that tells me that the majority of you already know that. It's like you you understand that. Like one energy can't coexist with another. Like one's got to close so another can open. Certain energies do coexist, but others don't. Look at this. The Empress over the full. Beautiful. By the way, one of the things that I always look for in a love reading are the Empress and the Empress in the same reading. And they just so happen to be in the same line. Now, the Empress, I feel, is you, male or female. This is you with an open heart. That's what the Empress is. She's loving. She's nurturing. She's put the past behind her. Um, she's using it as her experience now. You know, she is touching that Five of Swords. So it's not like she's saying it didn't happen. But now I have this different viewpoint of it, you know, or again, helping others. Um, remember, the Empress is loving and nurturing, powerful, strong, creative, very creative. Um really listens to her intuition. So where I said before, like, how do I know? Like, how do I know when this shows up that this is going to be good? That I really feel your intuition. And because the Empress is here, I feel like it means you're ready. You're now ready. It's like the universe is saying, you're now ready. And again, in the same line of this blessing, How beautiful, though. I close that door. <clears throat> Some of you, yes, it can mean like now I'm a single mom, single father. But again, it's about where you're heading towards. Some of you are really allowing your creative nature to come out. 
And I feel like it's just shining. We have the Eight of Wands interesting over the Ace of Wands. First of all, what I think about, I bring about. And that's what I felt in the Four of Cups, where when I was in this difficult energy, I feel like for some of you, you were daydreaming about. And I don't really feel like a particular person. For some of you, it may be a particular person. Um, but I really feel like it's like a higher form of love. Like, this can't be what love is. And it's not. Well, there are different levels, you know, but I feel like this is saying I'm unsatisfied within this level. Um, so, you know, what I think about, I bring about, I definitely feel some of you are manifesting love and you may not have even known it. It's like the law of attraction. Um, this is also very fast moving energy and it's coming over the ace of wands, inspired action, inspired first. And then action, inspiration, passionate. I already felt that in the lover's energy. And then look at this temperance. Your major arcana coming right over the emperor. Patience is the first message of temperance. Patience, my child, you know. There seems to be like old energy where it just wasn't time for something to open up. And temperance is about trusting within divine timing. You know, all good things come to those who wait, so to speak. You know, um, I feel like as now the Empress, I know, like, I, I don't want to, like, I'm not trying to push anything. The Empress really is current energy moment or energy also. Like I live in the current moment and she's over the full. So, you know, and the Eight of Wands is heading right towards the Emperor. I just find that quite amazing. Um, you know, it's like the time of your life. I don't know what to say. It's like the time of your life. Like it's shown abundance, like tenfold. But it's because you're going after it. Like, make me, I want to make that clear. But I feel like you're being blessed along the way. Guided. And then I feel like this love is unexpected. But for some of you, like, is it though? You know, you probably know that on a soul level. And then I love the Emperor and the Empress connected especially with divine timing and your major arcana coming right over it. You know, Seven of Swords is mirroring temperance, and there's no way divine would introduce that back into your life. I feel like that, so that might have been a lesson. And that lesson for some time, you know, sometimes I feel like those lessons are as simple as I needed to leave. I needed to know when to it was time to close the door. I needed to know what I no longer want. So I know better now what I do want. Again, in the emperor's energy, I, I kind of feel like what I'm saying to the universe is I know the type of person, you know, I want someone that, you know, has some intelligence that um, loves to communicate. You know, like we can have long, deep discussions. Um, you could even collaborate. I mean, this is, you know, there's nobody better to collaborate than the Empress and the Emperor because they have the ultimate goal. They just arrive different ways. You know what I mean? So they, they both, and I feel like now, now we're moving into the Palace of Cups. Well, that's the Emperor and the Empress. And then the Palace of Pentacles. Remember how I said I felt both were doing well? So that makes sense. Even this direction, temperance, is connected to the world, is connected to the full. So divine timing in this chapter opening up and inspired action so intuitively just knowing all right let's keep going though 
What a reading. What a beautiful birthday reading, by the way. I mean, look at this. The Ten of Pentacles again. Over the Palace of Pentacles. So, who's ever coming in, whoever you're connecting to, they're bringing their own money. They have their own finances. Um, they're of a stable energy, let's say. That's a good thing. Two tens of pentacles over the palace. We have the king of wands. King of wands can be uh, Sagittarius, can be you. Um, Aries. We have Aries right there, Leo. I feel like we had Leo somewhere. Um, but. Let's think about the energy of this person. So this is a king of action. Coming over to soulmates. After the transformation. So this would have to be someone. I'm saying new. It doesn't mean you don't know them. Um, but not only do I feel they'd be next in your life. But I feel like it would be for the rest of your life. You know, to me, I, I kind of love that this king is mirroring the ace of wands. So I feel like this person also, you know, is a good communicator. And I want that. Like, I want someone who puts action behind their words. And I feel like this is the king that would do that. I also get this feeling that this king can intuitively pick up your energy. Um, And I'm not even going to say this. I'm not going to give this king a title, um, but I do feel like, like intuitively, I can pick up your energy. So when you're fear, feeling fearful, I feel this king feels that and can help you, not hinder you, help you. You know, because even though everything looks so beautiful, doesn't mean every day is great you know we have to go through the ebbs and flows of life but having this person with you you know this doesn't feel at all like someone who would run you know if the going went got tough not at all quite the opposite I feel like this what I feel like this is talking about energy and I feel like in your finances in your creative house but also in love, I feel like that are everlasting. Look at this, the Ace of Wands again. So coming over the question within the Seven of Cups. Here's that cup in the Seven of Cups. Now it's up to me to make the decision, right? The choice. Am I going to do it? Ace of Wands to me would be yes. Let's not forget what is right between the empress and the emperor is the ace of wands and here it is now it's right below the empress you know it's, it's like it's like the empress is now giving a nod to the universe okay now i'm ready now i believe now i'm willing to step into it let's see where this goes but remember inner child, playfulness, have fun. You know, it doesn't mean it doesn't get serious. I feel like love, I don't know how it's to, it can be denied. It feels like, you know, someone that you fall in love very quickly with. Maybe even like soul recognition. Um, that may come through conversation, like deep conversations. You know, you both ended up some way, somehow, like leaders, uh, you know, like leaders. Um, and it doesn't have to mean like, you know, I'm making a ton of money or when I'm leading, I'm leading a million people. It doesn't have to mean that at all. Interesting how I said the strength card or Leo. I thought Leo came out. Well, here it is. Look at this. Wow, this is the marriage card. Look at that. Now, it is coming over the two of swords. 
But now we know, I mean, I already knew what the Two of Swords is. I already knew what that blindfold is. By the way, it's the Two of Swords, not the Eight of Swords. This is definitely energy we can overcome. Um, it just means there's a little bit of fear. Um, you know, maybe I say no at first, but I don't feel like it, it goes away. Um, you know, the Four of Wands here is the potential of these two and this is like this is true commitment this is the marriage card after all um and i feel the strength card is really you know it's about that inner journey you know of you know a little bit of the past sneaking back in but i feel i i feel kind of quickly because the two swords it just doesn't feel like it fits so i feel like it's like something that raises its ugly head but then goes away and I feel like the energy is going to allow that to happen. I can't deny what I feel. I can say it. I can try to deny it. I can say that I deny it. But within, there's no way I can deny what I feel. So, wow. All right. I, you know, I'm going to bring the romance angels in, even though I don't even feel like we need them. Of course, I said the same thing with the Gilded Chirot. It's like stuck. Give him one more shuffle. Give him a cut. I feel like your reading is extra long, but for some of you, it's your birthday reading. Heart to heart conversations. I already felt that energy where there was going to be these heart to heart conversations. Honestly, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. To so be open. You know, even with any fear you have, just be open about it. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So for some of you, you could know who this person is. But I have to tell you, with the soulmates and the lovers connected, I often feel this is past life energy. So some of you, you may not know who this person is in this lifetime. But again, I feel like through these heart-to-heart -heart conversations, you figure out like, uh, like, like there's something different about us. You know what I mean? There's something different. There's something different about our love. And I feel like, you know, I feel like you figure it out. And maybe then, you know, maybe both. I shouldn't say that. Maybe both. But I feel like that's really what this is saying. You know, whether this be someone from this lifetime. And again, maybe in the Four of Cups, there was someone in particular I had in mind. And who knows? Maybe I ended up manifesting it. Um, and, you know, again, it's this is about the right time divine timing why well because because you'll say yes because you're willing to move into it you know we have the fool twice in the world the next chapter well look at everything that's opening up you know and let me just finish with this i don't think you could get here this beauty without going through this and other things because i feel like it are it is those experiences that makes you who you are right now and i feel like you are who you're meant to be right now whether you like that or not you know what i mean and if you don't then ask yourself why there could be some things that you're hanging on to that you can let go of you know, this is really about freedom and then the freedom to be you and the freedom to chase your dreams and to enjoy the journey. And then when love comes in the door, however it shows up, you know, of course, it will be up to you. But I feel like what it's showing is it's almost like I had to kiss a lot of frogs. Those frogs are what taught me. So when my prince or my princess does show up, I know and feel the difference. I feel it. I feel it and I know it deeply. 
And I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, thank you. I love you. I wish those who are celebrating a birthday a happy birthday. Everyone else, I, I, I really hope everyone felt this. I feel like, you know, I feel like it was pretty clear. Interesting. I'm thinking, what am I even going to tell you? You know, when I get into readings like this, where it really is showing you the world. It's like, what do I title it so I can make sure that it doesn't pass you by? Um, but then every time I say that to myself, I think that's what I got to let go of. I got to just let divine take care of it. And I feel like it'll just find you or you'll find it in divine timing. So I thank you guys. I thank all of you for everything you do for this channel. Truly, um, I thank you for your comments. Uh, helping others in the comment section. I think that's just beautiful. Thank you for your donations. It's what keeps this channel alive. Um, thank you for sharing, you know, like trusting your intuition, like mm, maybe so-and-so needs to hear this or you share it on your social platforms. Thank you so much. Um, just thank you. Thank you for being here, period. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.